Alright guys, today we're going to be talking about bridges, and I'm going to tell you the value of bridges, what Tor network bridges are, why you might want to be using them, and I'm even going to show you how easy it is to become a bridge just by installing a browser extension. And we're going to go through that process together. First off, we're looking at the Tor network on the screen here. What a bridge is, is say your ISP, if you're in a dangerous area, uh, watches for tour connections. This is not something that happens often, and I wouldn't worry about this for most people. But if you have that kind of concern, tour bridges allow you to connect to what is known as a bridge to the tour network, which becomes the entry guard and takes the connection into the tour network. It looks like, for the most part, standard HTTPS traffic, and that's how it's designed to look of course, as well as that can be done. Now, let's talk a little bit about how to actually set up a bridge. All we have to do is go over to settings here, and after that, click on tour, then select use a bridge, and we're talking about snowflake bridges today. Now, these are really special. These are the one that I talk about that is run as an extension in the browser. So, in my honest opinion, it's even more anonymous because it is only being used by those individuals who are even further decentralized from the Tor network because it is a browser extension and not an official part of anything that is listed as part of the Tor network. And being a browser extension, it's an on-again, off-again thing. So, when people open in the browser, they will be running a bridge to help other people. And you're helping them avoid censorship, and also you're helping protect yourself. Because essentially, you could potentially even increase your own privacy by becoming a part of the Tor network. Now, how would that work? Well, by adding more data into the Tor network, you could further obfuscate instead of, say, connecting at 12 and uh, disconnecting at 4 p.m., as an example, if you're connected all the time acting as a part of the network, you are much less of a standout for certain time periods that may be targeted by adversaries. So we go down to use a bridge, then we go to select the bridge. And what we're going to select is the Snowflake bridge. That's how you'll connect. Then when you close out the Tor browser and you reopen it, you'll be connecting through a Snowflake bridge. It's a browser extension, and other Tor users are helping you out, helping you get past the ISP or whoever may be um, trying to detect Tor connections. Nowadays, it's not so much of a concern for most people. You don't have to worry, but there are areas of the world where you do have to be concerned of ISPs learning of a Tor connection. So that is what the Snowflake Bridge is for. Let's go ahead and set it up ourselves. So if you want to help out the Tor network, as much as I want to help out the Tor network, what we're going to do is go to our uh, preferences, then we go to extensions, and then at this point, we just look up Snowflake. And at that point, it's going to find us the simple RTC plugin. I'm adding it for the first time myself. I didn't know it was this easy, and I'm happy to share the experience with you guys. So add to Firefox. So I suggest you all do this so you can help out Tor users in places in the world where they may have more issues getting on tour and censorship. So it's as easy as that. It's already been added to Firefox. It's that easy. You can be a big help to users of the Tor network, our friends out there who are dealing with surveillance and censorship by simply adding this browser extension. It's that easy and you can be part of the solution by doing this one move. So if you got something out of this video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. If you want to check out my public blog, it's at buymeacoffee.com slash politictech. There's also extra options there. Friends of Tor are matching donations, so if you want to support Tor, there are ways to do that on donate.torproject.org. As I mentioned, I have no association with the project, but I do want to help promote things that are free solutions to everyone, open source solutions, and I think we should all, you know, throw our support behind these kinds of projects. So if you want to add that, add that browser extension, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions about it, and 
I'll be happy to try and help you there. That's what I got today, guys. Hope you got something out of this video, and I'll be back later with more on how to protect your privacy.